So, man cavers, what are we doing today? Well, we have a little problem with our X-type, so we're going to be carrying out a leak off test. Gonna be fun. No, it's not. It's really not. Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So, before we start, a serious note. A lot of you seasoned folks will know what a leak off test is. Some of you may have heard of it, but not sure what it is. I will just go through the basics of what a leak off test is. Basically, it's testing how much fuel is leaking off your diesel injector. Um, most diesel cars that have been made in the last 20 years are going to be what's called common rail diesel, where you have a fuel rail which is under high pressure supplied from a diesel pump so that rail will hold high I'm not talking about 100 120 psi no I'm talking about two and a half three thousand psi pressure in the diesel rail which is filled with diesel the pipes then go off to your injectors and when your ECU fire the injectors a little bit of diesel is forced through the injector because it picks up the diesel out of the diesel rail now, when an injector wears, the little pin inside, which moves up just to let the spray of diesel out, they can wear as the lorry go past. And diesel, high pressure diesel, what doesn't get squirted out, some of it will work its way back up the injector body. Now, if you didn't have a leak off pipe, the injector would basically blow itself to bits. The seals would blow and it would leak terribly, it wouldn't. Every single injector, even on new cars, will leak off a little bit of diesel. It's the nature of the beast. You've got, you've got a really low viscosity fluid under 3000 PSI. It will work its way through the most minute, minute gap. So yeah, what that does is it, you know, leaks off the excess diesel, what goes back up the side of the pin, that will then come out of a leak off pipe and go into the fuel filter or back to the fuel tank, whatever. It will be leaked off under low pressure back into the fuel tank or into the fuel system. When an injector wears, it starts leaking off a little bit more diesel. So what was the problem with this? About six weeks ago, I started noticing a very slight misfire. Um, under gentle acceleration, there'd be the occasional misfire. And if you were sitting at a steady 55 with the cruise control on, whatever, it would do an intermittent misfire every now and again, which was starting to get damn annoying. I don't like misfires. Now, I didn't put two and two together until the other day, um, well, about two weeks ago, actually, that I'd put some diesel in. I had filled this car right up with diesel. It was down a quarter of a tank. I'd filled it right up with diesel at the local petrol station. And when I say a local petrol station, I'm in a village petrol station. Two diesel, you know, two fuel pumps, one petrol, one diesel. The old fashioned pumps with the needle that go around and it's attendant served. And the fuel they serve is as power diesel. So not a particularly good brand. And I don't suppose they sell an awful lot of it. That never even come into mind. But it was about 50 miles after I'd put that diesel in, I remember I started noticing the misfire. That diesel, I got down to half a tank. I filled up again with my normal SO diesel. And the misfire started to improve. I got to half a tank again, filled up with SO diesel again. The problem's all but gone away now. So I'm now thinking, it didn't dawn on me until the other day, I reckon this car just didn't like that diesel. Because this is a fussy old girl on diesel, I've noticed it on Asda diesel before. It runs terribly when that's cold on Asda diesel. So there is a difference in diesels. So we're going to do a leak off test just to satisfy my curiosity of exactly, have I got an injector going down? So a leak off test, it will measure the leak off the leaked off diesel from each injector, store it in a little pot. 
they will all leak off a bit that's perfectly normal if you've got one injector which is leaking off a lot more than the other three you know that injector is more worn it's basically a, a good old mechanical diagnostics as to what's wrong and the car had flagged up flagged 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 up no fault light so it didn't put on no engine management light it didn't put the car in limp mode so there's no point in me scanning the car because that's not going to tell me anything because as far as the car's concerned there's no problem so we're down to mechanical diagnostics involving a leak off so let's get the bonnet up on this thing and see if we can do a leak off test ah. There is some traffic going by today. Alright. Oh, what have we got under here? The joys of modern motors. Right, here we have our things. We need to take our dipstick out. We need to take our fuel oil cap off. And take that stupid plastic cover off the top of the engine. Now this engine is warm because I've just been to work, so it's just done a 60 mile round trip this car, so it's very, very warm. Now then let me show you the leak off pipes. I say a lot of you will know exactly what they are, some of you may not. These ones, every single diesel car will have them. The clip may be different, but they will all have a metal pipe, which is your high pressure. Here's the fuel rail I was telling you about, what's at 3000 PSI or thereabouts. This is a fuel pressure sensor, and these are injector pipes going to each injector. So as the ECU fires the injector, which is electrical, it will then force a bit of diesel, it will then take a bit of diesel out of there, shoot it through the pin, and it goes. Now years ago, back in the days of the old, the old 1900, Citroen Peugeot diesels and the Smiley Transits, they had a mechanical diesel pump normally driven off the cam belt and that acted like a distributor. But instead of shooting electric to spark plugs, it shot diesel into injectors. But with common rail, the pumps aren't timed. It's, this is under constant pressure. And when the ECU fires through these little tiny wires, that then, you know, sorts it all out and takes the diesel when it needs it for your timing anyhow we need to remove these and put leak off pipes on being very careful not to damage the o-rings so let me get my kit out and i'll show you what we got so here we have a diesel leak off kit now these kits this is a chinese one dirt cheap off ebay about 40 quid i've had it years you don't have to have one of these you can do it with four lengths of pipe and four jam jars this just makes it a little bit oh it looks technical believe me it's not this is really 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 simple stuff so what we're going to be using is probably one of these purple ones i don't know which one what we got to do all you need to do this job is a flat blade screwdriver so I need to take off these little plastic clips for the injector for the leak off pipes so we just push the little clip back and the little arm should spring out and there we go that's one leak off pipe off so we just got to buzz around, take all four of them leak off pipes off. Take that out of the way. I think, yeah, I think this is it. So we just put four of them on. Like so. Yeah, let's get these little clips back 
on there. One, two. Right, they're all clipped on. So what we have to do now, if I can zoom out, now this looks really technical, like something medical. It really isn't. All it is, is containers with pipes. We're only going to be using four of these because the car's a four cylinder. So now we've got our four pipes. We can forget two of these tubs. Let's just use this end four. Look, we'll forget these two. We'll just use these four, which will be one. It'll be this one. One, two, three, four. We just put each pipe on each injector. So we'll tuck them two out of the way because we don't need them. We'll just put one on here. The next one on here. The next one on here. And the next one on here. Now different people do leak off tests different ways. Some people say, some people say you should run the car for one minute at idle, then one minute at 1500 revs, then another minute at idle. I do a whole leak off test at idle. The only difference is your injectors either got to be opening 800 times a minute or 1500 times a minute. It really, it'll leak off the same. It really makes very little difference. So now we've got our leak off pipes connected up. Anyone can do these. These are really, really simple. Now, what we're going to be looking at is... So, remember, them two are dead. We're not doing anything. So, we're only going to be looking at these four. So, we want to turn our bottles so we can see the little marks. Here we go. Yeah. We can see the little marks on our body. So, what we want to do is run the car now for about two minutes. So I think there'll be nothing coming into this one anyhow because there's nothing connected to it. So let me just tighten these lids down. There we go. So now we need to start the car up and see how much them little bottles fill up. And obviously if one is a little bit more warm than the other then that will obviously fill up more with diesel so let me move this out of the way and we'll start the car there we go can you see diesel are starting to come through these lines? Look, and they'll start to fill these bottles up. So we're going to leave this running for about three minutes. Right, straight away I can see I have two quite badly worn injectors. How can I tell that? Well, look at that. That's what we've leaked off over four injectors in about two minutes. 
and there we go. Now this level here, you can see injector number two has leaked off virtually anything, so that injector's perfect. These two are the most badly worn. So number one and number four are quite bad injectors. Number two is perfect. That is a perfect amount of leak off. Number three, hmm, mediocre. Really, it needs two injectors in it. Would they cause the misfire? Probably. And they would certainly cause excess smoking. So I can pretty much say that number one and number four injector are quite badly worn. And that basically is what a leak off test is. And it's told me now, without any diagnostics or electronics, it's told me which injectors are bad and which ones are good. So we know this one is perfect. This one, not so bad, but not perfect. These two, definitely not so good. So really, she needs two injectors here and here. There we go. Now we know. Now you guys know what a leak off test is. And like I say, you don't have to use this elaborate setup I've got here. You can just pull your pipes off the plastic clips, put four bits of tubes into four jam jars and measure it that way. But these kits are invaluable because they actually give you, you can actually see in milliliters how much is leaking off. And there's hardly anything leaking off number two, which is really good. Anyhow, there's about 80 quid's worth of diesel in there, so I'm going to put that back in the tank. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> right, that's it. We have done a leak off test. Some of you may find this interesting, some of you may not. But that is how you do a leak off test on a diesel engine. So yes, we now know which injectors are bad and which are good. Not so good, very good. Not too bad, not so good again. So this one and this one probably are going to need changing at some point. So there we go. If you have a misfire on your diesel... It could well be it don't agree with the fuel what's in it. This car is fussy on diesel, always has been. Could be a number of things, but this is one mechanical diagnostic test. Anyhow, I'm going to go and I will see you guys next time. Oh yes, um, I'm going to pick another project up in a little while. Said I weren't going to do it, didn't I? I said I weren't going to... I blame Mrs. Man Cave, you know. I blame Mrs. Man Cave because she... She pointed this out to me and said, you've got to have it, haven't you? I was like, oh, why did she point these things out? I haven't seen it. Why did she point... Anyhow, you'll see that. The next video. Right. X-type leak-off test. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! <laughs> 2.2 .2 diesel.